Hey everybody, in this video I will talk about one of the most important parts of business communication and it's the phone calls. Hi, is this Tina? Yes it is. Who is this? This is Alex. Do you remember me? I'm sorry, I do not remember you. You know, a lot of people working at companies often do get engaged in a phone conversation with suppliers, with customers or with other people. So it's important that you speak properly, use a professional business language. Could you please tell Mr. Morgan our latest shipment has been delayed? So in this video, I will talk about various points that you have to pay attention to when you speak with somebody from another country. So we start with the first one, and it's introducing yourself properly. What's your name? I'm Peter. My friends call me Pete. When you speak with somebody from another company, you have to express yourself, you have to introduce yourself properly. You have to use professional business language when you introduce yourself. So, for instance, you call one company, for instance, A, abroad, and you're calling from the company X in your country. So, this is how you speak with them. Hello, uh, I'm calling you from company X, located in Baku, Azerbaijan, and I'm the sales specialist, Anara Basov. I would like to talk to the sales team of your company. Could you please connect me? So, in this video, you introduced yourself first, you told them about your position, about your company, where it's located, and then who you want to talk to. After this, the reception connects you with the sorting department, the sales department, and then you start to talk to them. When you talk to the sales team member, you again introduce yourself. You tell about your name, about your company, about your position, and so on, and then your intention, which comes the next. Express your reason of call. There goes my heart. You are the reason. When you talk to the sales team member, you have to tell him or her why you called this company and what's your reason. So imagine uh, your company deals with import and exports and you want to get some price offers from this company for certain products. Again, imagine you're talking to Mr. Alexander from the sales department and you're asking for quotation. So this is how you speak with him properly asking for quotation. Hello, Mr. Alexander. I'm calling you from the company X located in Baku, Azerbaijan. I'm the sales specialist in our Basov. We're interested in some of the products that your company produces and I would like to receive your quotation. I have to mention that I've sent you an email a few days before. However, nobody has turned back to me yet. I would be glad if you recheck your email and give me your feedback at the soonest possibility. So in this phone conversation, I politely expressed that I have sent an email before, but nobody has answered me yet. You have to be professional, not being rude or impolite, because you want to work in the long term with this person or with this company. So the next comes giving information about your company. Um, my name is Barbara Murphy. I'm the Vice President of Marketing with Weka.io. So first of all, um, I'm going to give you a company update. This is, again, one of the most important parts of business communication, business language. Because if you want to be professional and get professional feedback, it's important that you give clear information about your company, in which fields it, it operates, and so on. So when you give information, you act like this. For instance, Mr. Alexander, our company has been operating in the country more than 20 years. We're specialized in the field of technology and we deal with imports and exports of information technology equipment. We mainly sell our products to the companies in the country, including banks and also some of the companies abroad. So in this phone conversation, you mentioned about your company, how long it has been operating in the market, in which field it operates, whether it sells or buys to the country or abroad. This is again important for the person on the other side of the phone to get a view, to, to get an understanding about your company. So the next important point is asking for a discount. Can I get like 10% off of that? If you are dealing with buying and selling negotiations, trade deals, you often ask companies and 
people for discount. When you ask for a discount, you have to pay attention to be professional, not just simply asking the discount. So when you call and ask for a discount, you have to say, Mr. Alexander, I have to say that we're interested in buying some of the products you have mentioned in your offer. However, your prices are exceeding our expectations. Although this is our first offer with your company, we're still interested in the long-term cooperation and we would be glad if you offer us a reasonable discount. I have to emphasize that we are interested in getting the distributorship of your products in our country. It means in the long term, we will be actually asking for more orders and buying more products from your company. Therefore, kindly ask you to give us a reasonable amount of discount. So as you said, I actually mentioned our intention of buying more, more products in the near future and the distributorship, which gives the authority of these products to sell in the country only to your company. Again, this was one of the most important parts of business communication. The next one and the last one is counseling order or cooperation. Sometimes you just cancel the order, you get this task from the management that, okay, we do not buy this product from this company temporarily or for now we are buying from another company. Again, you have to be professional and polite when you say this to the person or to the company. Firstly, you have to express this. You do not just don't call the company or don't say you have to call them and say this professionally and politely. So for instance, you call Mr. Alexander. Mr. Alexander, I have to say that unfortunately we're not interested in buying your products at the moment. However, we're thinking of having long-term cooperation with your company and I will be asking for your price offers in the near future. Thank you for your cooperation and I'm looking forward to having a long-term business deal with your company. So in this phone conversation, I mentioned that I'm not interested in buying at the moment, but in the near future, I may want to receive their offers for certain products. So guys, this is all about today's topic about the phone conversation and business English. There are the points you have to pay attention to which are incredibly important to be professional. I will see you in my next videos. Bye.